H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. So that means that means in inheritance static global variables belonging to parent class can be called in the below manners. I'll put this as a comment out here. Okay. And then I can <coughs> basically then I, now I can use the methods also of the bikes class. And these are the methods of the bikes class. So one, the static method can be called directly. <coughs> so I'll call the static methods. So I'll put this also. Copy it. I'll write down static methods which is a property of the bikes class in written the static methods belonging to the parent class can be called in the below manner how we can call it static method can be called directly it's control space bar you'll get the static method out here by bricks now i can call the bricks with the class file called bikes so bikes dot bricks you can see that it is coming i can call the bricks method using the class which has inherited the bikes class the class which is inherited is yamaha so i can write down as yamaha dot bricks anything is possible now i'll call the non static method so non static method how can it be called so non static method has to be called with the reference variable of the yamaha object y1 so i can call the non static method of the bikes class so y1 dot clutch so this is the initialization of the object okay and then i can save the class file and run it and I'm getting the value as required. It's priced as 30,000, has two wheels. Since the wheels has been call, called, it's a static global variable. It can be called in three manners, simply like wheels or bikes.wheels or yamaha.wheels. And the brakes, this is a static method which has been called in three time, three manners. It's a static method. It can be called in three manners, either directly the brakes method or with the class name, that is the parent class in or with the child class name. And then clutch part is coming out here. So in this class file, I can create innumerable objects of the Yamaha class. So I can just precisely you know, copy this and uh, put a CISO a differentiator, right? And after that, I can just put another, you know, object of the Yamaha class reference by y2 that's all and i have to change if i want to change the price let the price is 40000 yama is priced at y2 dot price and i can call wheels the value of wheels if i do not want to change it let the value of this be 2 i don't want to change it i can call it directly like this static methods can be called directly like this and non static with the y2 dot clutch 
Now, if I save the class file, I'll get the required result. Like this, this is a single class file inheriting a single class file. This is a single child inheriting a single parent. So this is a typical example of single inheritance out here. And plus, I can, in this particular class file called Yamaha, I can also, the Yamaha class file can also have its own property. For example, a property, let's say, of string type called model. And this is a typical property of your Yamaha class. Okay. I can put model and I can put a typical method that is present in your Yamaha class. So let's say public a static method called as ABS for example. And uh, public started void return type ABS I can just write down that CISO Yamaha as good ABS okay this is a method of the Yamaha class this method and this global variable called string that is model is not part of your bikes class and I can create one more method public non-static word type method called let's say as torque or let's say as uh, <clears throat> button start you can just write down Yamaha bike can be started and stopped with a button this is the so these are the methods present in the yamaha class these are not present in the bike class and these are the method uh, global variable which is a global variable of the yamaha class not present in the bikes class so i can use these methods in this object also this is the first object definitely so in this object I can use the string model and uh, I will not put the model out here I'll put the model let's say out here directly and it's a non-static global variable so I have to call it with the y1 reference variable of the first object so y1 dot model and let's say the word model should be in string format so that I put a variable value we'll say ybz 1000 cc bike this is the model name and I can use a CISO statement the model name of Yamaha bike is concatenate this with the y1 dot model it's y1 dot model so this is how I can use the non-static global variable called model and I want to use the static and the non-static method which are methods present in the Yamaha class with ABS and button start static and can call directly and so I will call here the static method of the Yamaha class. So I can call it directly control spacebar. I can get the static method called ABS. I can also call it with the Yamaha class file name that is Yamaha dot ABS. But can I call it with the bikes class name that is something like bikes dot I put dot do I see ABS not see ABS why it is not being shown because ABS is a method of the Yamaha class it is not a method present in the bikes class the bike class has only two methods brakes and clutch and since the method is not present in the bike class that is why I cannot call the static uh, method with the bikes class name if I forcefully use it 
will show you a syntax error. Syntax error comes like this. So let's be careful in that. Okay. <clears throat> in the similar manner, if I call up the non-static method, the non-static method has to be called with the so this has to be present out here. I'll cut it from here and put it in the first object. Sorry for that. And then I can you call the other method that's your button start method. This is a non-static method. It has to be called with the reference variable. So I will call the non-static method of the Yamaha class. This has to be called with the reference variable y1 dot button start. Sorry. That's fine. Now, <clears throat> I've only defined one global variable of this particular Yama, Yama class. Let's create one more global variable. Let's say it is uh, for example, a variable for Yamaha brake system. So, a static static string type brake system. This is a static global variable. Now, where do I want to use it? So, I'll use it down. So, using the static variable of the Yamaha class. Inside the first object, I'm using it. So static means I can call directly control space bar. I'll get the brake system. I'll give the brake system as let's say value of this as uh, disk brake system. To terminator sign, and I can use a CISO statement stating that Yamaha has concatenate this with the brake system variable has disk brake system uh, concatenate with in its in its bike structure now static methods or oh, sorry static global variables this is static global variable of the Yamaha class. I can call the brake system which is a static global variable with the Yamaha class. I can write down Yamaha dot the spelling is wrong Y A H A M A and then if I put a dot Yamaha dot I'll get the brake system which is static into nature static global variable. I can give the value of this in the same value I'll give and I can use the same CISO statement the only thing is that I'll use Yamaha dot that's all and similarly if you see out here if I use the brake system with the bikes class so bikes dot i will not get the option of the brake system which is a static global variable of the yamaha class since yeah brake system is a static global variable of the yamaha class and not present in the bikes class that is why when we put dot i will not get the option of brake system but i forcefully put it i will get a syntax error stating that by brake system cannot be resolved or is not a field of the bikes class so i'll comment it 
now if i run this particular class file and look at the result of the first object this is how the object will look like priced it has three wheels model name of yamaha is coming model is the non-static global variable of the yamaha class and then we have this is the button start and this is the brake system for yamaha if i use it in second object also it will be fine same thing will be shown out so this is a typical example of a single inheritance where a single class file is inheriting the bikes class file which is also single so that means it has a single parent a single class file has a single parent that is the concept of single inheritance so like this what i will do is that i will create one more package i'll call that as multi-level inheritance So in the multi-level inheritance, I'm going to call, this will be the parent class. So what, is, what is the multi-level inheritance? In multi-level inheritance, you might have a parent, child and grandchild concept. So a child is inheriting the parent class and a grandchild is inheriting the child class. So in other ways, the child will inherit the properties of the parent class and the grandchild will definitely inherit the properties of the child class, but it will also indirectly inherit the properties of the parent class. So it's a parent, child, grandchild kind of a level. So let the parent child be bikes. So I'll copy bikes and paste it out multi-level inheritance package. Okay, I'll copy Yamaha. This is a child and paste it in multi-level inheritance. Okay, now in this particular package, I'm going to create one more class file. Okay, now if you remember the Yamaha class file had a model YBZ1000CC. So I'll copy this and make this as a grandchild out here of this particular package. So create a class file. Main method needs to be called and say OK. Now if you see out here, I'll close these. I'll open up the, I'll close everything. I'll open up the bikes class present in the multi-level inheritance package. I'll open up the Yamaha class file present in this multi-level inheritance package and I'll open up the YBZ. This is part of your multi-level package. If you see out here, Yamaha remains the child class of the bikes class. And I'll make this now class as the child of Yamaha. So I'll do what? I will extend Yamaha. So what is become now nearly what what has now been done this is the child of yamaha and yamaha is the child of bikes so bike becomes a grandparent this becomes a parent and this becomes the child okay that means this is the grandchild right now the child is yamaha and this is the super parent so for this particular for this particular uh, class file, this is the super parent. Okay. Now, since it has inherited, so it has now inherited the properties of the Yamaha class, and Yamaha class inherited the properties of the Bi class. That means this particular class, it has that means indirectly inherited the properties of the grandparent that is bikes so what i can do is that i will create an object of this particular class 
shall create an object of this particular class. Let's say y is equal to new object. Okay. Now I can use the properties of its immediate parent that is Yamaha plus the grandparent also. So the immediate parent also is extending is also inheriting the bikes class. So indirectly this can then inherit the properties of the grandparent that is why. So let us start by inheriting properties of parent and that is Yamaha and Yamaha has these properties string and model so model has to be called with the reference variable y y dot model so it sees that it's a string of Yamaha class and I can give the model name I will make it same the model name is same I don't want to change the model name for logical reasons or tangible reasons rather and I can use a CISO model of Maha is this has to be concatenated with Y not model okay after that I can call the static variable global variable called breaking system break system if I call this I have to give the type of breaking system static can be called directly control spacebar I can get it okay now I can give the break system as let's say disk break system which I had also put for the Yamaha class object uh, same thing I'm retaining it and I can use it a CISO stating that Yamaha has concatenate the break control spacebar break system has this breaking system in its engine and this is an static global variable and static variable can be called with the class name so I can use since YBZ 1000 CC is inheriting Yamaha so I can use the same class name dot break system and I can give the same value I can print out like this so I'll copy this part as it is and just I will put the name of the class file that is this one this one control dot okay that's about it if you have any questions please revert to us thank you very much